Full time devils, it's the PSV preview. They've let me present it. Absolutely no idea why. First things first, off the back of a great win against Liverpool, Anthony Marshall scored the third goal. Absolutely fantastic finish. Guys, what do you think? Should he play against PSV? Yes, Rooney's not fit, so let's play him. Let's play him up top, give him a chance. I mean, they're not, we're, we're going to face tougher opposition, so let's play him. Yeah, why not? I think that's a better option than Fellaini up top, I, you know, and let's do it. Why not? If Rooney's injured, yeah, he's got to play. It's simple as that, exactly what she just said. He's a better option than Fellaini. He doesn't look like we've got anybody else. Let's ride the high that he's got from scoring that amazing goal and play him. You know, you don't think Marouane should play after that world star performance there? Um, I think with Toto Martial, we have to be patient with him and give him time and not get carried away because obviously he's going to be sitting on cloud nine at the moment after scoring that goal. But take things slowly with him. But at the same time, tactically, I'd play him because today when we had Marouane Fellaini there, everything is in front of him. Like, he doesn't stretch defenders, he doesn't run on the shoulders, he doesn't run out wide, he doesn't do anything. Whereas if Ander Herrera, Mata and Memphis have got someone running and stretching these defenders and making a space in front of them for them, penetrate. then they're going to they're gonna be able to penetrate, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that. Alston just, rubbed, Alston just rubbed his cock up my leg as he said penetration. <laughs> just just, some, just, just yeah. so you all know what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on from penetration. I, I, I was there, dude. Some go on, say something. Go on. Some proper football talk, but nah, it's all right. <laughs> nothing left. You've got nothing to say. Right, today we saw Schweinsteiger and Carrick start in the centre of midfield. I thought Schweinsteiger had an absolutely brilliant game um, against Liverpool. He was absolutely fantastic. Carrick played a great pass into Herrera when he got the penalty. Who do you think we should have as our centre mid partnership going into PSV? Would you try something different or would you carry on with what's working? I think it was nice to have Morgan Schneiderlin on the bench today. It was perfect. I think there's something institutions all worked perfectly like when we wanted to close the game out we had Morgan Schneider in there to call and now Schweinsteiger just played 90 minutes is he then going to start on Tuesday I don't think so so I think we'll probably see Schneiderlin Carrick and Herrera but whatever the midfield three or two or whatever if we play a midfield two Herrera needs to be number 10 if we play a midfield three Herrera needs to be in it because for me Herrera I'll be careful how I word this but Herrera is our best player Wow. Manchester United's best player. Serious? Without, without doubt. Maybe not individually, but when he's on that pitch, he's our best player. He makes us tick. He makes things happen. He is the reason. Sorry, Louis van Gaal should be playing him and even say, if he doesn't want to give... You, you hear about, oh, he's had bust-ups with players because Carrick and Rooney are saying people want the leash to just be letting go of. If you're not going to let the team play with fluidity and creativity, let him play with it on his own. Just give him the free roll because he can make things happen. I think you've got to see Herrera play. What do you think about the midfield, Housen? I would agree with that, that Herrera has to be in the number 10 role because I think, I don't know if I'd say he's our best player because that's... Would you that's, get where I'm coming I, from? I do, yeah. I'm not going to shut you down. That's, he's really important. Yeah, pitch, yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's very influential and I think his attitude that is ingrained into him to, is to always look to advance, always look for that extra pass, always look for that Ask final for ball. ball, yeah. And I think he's incredibly positive when he's got the ball. I don't think it's in him to close a game out. I think he's always looking for something else. So on the basis of that, I think you're right in the fact that he's mega influential. As for best, I think that's debatable. But I do always want to see him start. I always want to see him start. So that's not for debate for me. He's got to start in that role. People can argue all day whether he's a number 10 or not. I don't, I don't care. The role that we don't deploy care. him in, it works and I want to see him there more. But in terms of Schmidfield or Carrick, I don't think any of them are going to get dropped. I think it's just going to be like he said, it's a case of squad management. Schweinsteiger's just in 90 minutes. So if it's um, if it's Schneidlin and Carrick next week, no one's been dropped. This is just managing. We've got three yeah. excellent players and two spaces. Yeah. So it's going to happen like this. You'll see two start and one probably come off the bench every week. And I'm fine with that. Nice. I think that's, that's a great way to manage an ageing Carrick. A, a player in Schweinsteiger that we don't know the fitness of. We don't know the durability of his legs. We know that he's a great player. So manage him, manage Carrick and use Schneidlin to be the guy nice. that's doing a little bit more. Mate, I'm going to have to butt in. You're going on for bloody ages. Haley's oh, falling asleep over it. Ailey, what do you think of the midfield? Do you oh, want to see I'm Herrera play? Talk. And you're not allowed to say makes us sick because it's the standard you know, phrase. Phrase the makes us tick phrase. Makes um, us tick Herrera. In fairness, Heisen, he had some good points about the uh, the midfield. <laughs> um, basically, they're going to be they're going to be retweet, rotated because Schneiderlin is is, is class. Schweinsteiger, um, Carrick are similar in ways, but they both they both need to be uh, looked after because they're not young. 
and they're going to need sorry I'm getting distracted uh, they're, they're not young and they're going to have um, their fitness will as he said need to be managed so I think we're really spoiled to have three such quality players in midfield especially when we went last season and had oh my god Carrick's injured we're absolutely basically yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so now we can say look okay well if somebody takes a bit of a knock we can then we can you know we have another option and I agree with the guys Herrera has to play in that advanced role because I'm not going to say any of those cliche sort of phrases but it's just say it no, I can't say it. Say it. He makes us best what? player. He makes us tick. He's not our best player. I'm not going to say that, but <laughs> yeah, we just everyone loves Herrera, but yeah. he's he's he's. He, I'm not. It's, it's just going over the old grind. We like Herrera. He is good for our attacking. We're struggling attacking wise at the minute. Definitely. In are you going to ask about wings or? Go no go go for the wings. Who's playing on the wings? Memphis. Does, we, does Memphis get a start or has Ashley Young took his place? Shall we? Well, shall we give Young a start? Um, Memphis needs time. Let's not be OTT about it. He's young, new league, etc., etc. He had a per half. Win, but it's turned into his home ground. You know the football oh, cliche, yeah, right? Tell you what, lads. Listen, tell you what. Listen, listen. But, lads and lads. Ashley Young shouldn't didn't. shouldn't get people gasped by today because no, no, Ashley no. Young, all Ashley Young has shown is, is an impact substitute for Right, tell you what, Adam, give your team. Right. Starting 11, PSV. Hayley, we'll get your team in a sec. Yeah, team. <laughs> team. Sorry, Hayley. No. Team. <laughs> team. David De Gea. Yes. Damian. Yes. Mikey Smalling. Yes. Daily Blind. Uh, <laughs> Romero right, right back. Um, Matteo sure. Damian. Did I say Damian? No, yeah, Damian Shaw, Smalling yeah. Blind. Yeah. Schneiderling, Carrick, Herrera, the best player in the team. Memphis. Mata. If Rooney's not here, Martial. No Fellaini. That team. That team. That team. Exact team. I literally didn't listen at all, sorry. So, no, just, you know, the back five guys and then whatever midfield works. The uh, Schweinsteiger, there's so many SH, SCHs, I can't actually keep up with them. Well, uh, yeah, basically. Probably Schweinsteiger won't start, so it'll probably be Carrick and Steiner just because he started in 90 minutes, etc. Schweinsteiger had 90 minutes as well for Germany as well, two in two exactly. games. So, so he probably won't start, so that's fine. Play Martial, that's what, that's the big thing I would do today that's different. Um, excuse me, I would do against PSV that was, uh, that's different from today. Let's, let's, let's give Martial a start. I know it's a bit early, but I think just do it and see what happens. Is there anyone from PSV that you're actually scared of? Anyone that you know of? Maybe uh, you've seen them on FIFA, I don't know. Memphis Depay kid, is it? No, I don't oh, know. No, we've got him now. Yeah. You've got that other guy that we nailed him as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's at Newcastle, isn't all, he? All the player release is taking their best players. Um, in total honesty, I don't think that... I think it's more the fact that it's a way Champions League tie and <laughs> there's going to be a lot of emotions for, you know, someone like Memphis if he plays, but I think we should be winning that game. I don't yeah. know, do you guys have like, specific players that you know of? Yeah, you two, you two are ridiculously I mean, badly you, behaved. You, you there's, there's, there's one kid called Narsing. He's yeah. scored a couple. He's, what do you mean, yeah? You're playing for football manager. He's, uh, he's scored a couple. He's assisted a couple, and he's, he's a pacey guy. He's, he's gonna do. He's, go well, he's the guy that sort of took over Memphis as being the, the creator and the scorer. I don't know how good he actually genuinely is, but he's probably the one that we should look out for. But I'm sure Memphis is gonna brief everyone up about the talent that they've got. Adam. PSV. Basically, we're going to go over there to Eindhoven. <laughs> we're going to bring three points back. If we go there and we don't win, it's not the start that we need. I think we have got a tricky tricky group, let's be honest. And if we don't get off to the best start, nah. we have. Nah, it's an easy group, mate. Mate, mate. It's an easy group. Mate, if we have a few, if we, have, if we drop a few points here at Old Trafford, we've got a we difficult won't. group. We've got to travel to Moscow. We've got to travel away in Germany. And <laughs> Moscow, <laughs> Germany. We've got to travel away to those places. They're not easy places to go. So if we're going there looking to have to win, then you know, so we have to pick up points. We have to beat these like in Eindhoven and at Old Trafford and we'll do it. Nice, watch your score. Memphis is going to score on his return and it's going to be 2-0. Uh, I think the way we're playing, I would go for a 1-0, but I wouldn't be shocked to see them come at us, meaning that we'll probably open them up a little bit. So I think you're looking at 2-1, 3-1. I'm going to go for one all, I'm afraid. Oh, That's what I negative. I but I always go for the win and then we... What? Can I just have my mic back? One what do you want? <laughs> Guys, what do you think the score's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a hey, you sod. I'm going to say 4-1. Sod it. Four, Mem one. Memphis hat trick. Memphis hat trick. You laughed at me last time and it happened. And it happened, sorry. Yeah. Guys, PSV preview. Get your comments in below. Give this a like. Give this a share. Stealing these lines. I'm Gaz Drinkwater outside Old Trafford. And I'm out of here.
<laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Nelson. This is Full Time Devils, and this is MUFC Daily. Every day, bringing you the latest in Manchester United news. 